10.30 a.m. and the sun is shining on my face. But we're headed to the city today. It's not that cold. I didn't throw on a scarf, but I do have a mop neck on with my Celine beanie to keep me warm. So a new bubble tea place just opened up. It's called Hey Tea. I had it when I was in China almost every day. So, and they finally, I don't know why, but suddenly they came. But the day that I came back, I, got, I found out, not the day, a couple of days I found, a couple of days when I got back, I saw that hey, tea opened here in New York by Times Square. I was like, oh. so we're heading there early because yesterday I went around like 4 p.m. and the line was so long, it literally wrapped around the block. And I waited half an hour and I barely even moved. So I was like, okay, not it's not worth the wait. So I was like, no, we have to get it. So now we are driving at 10.30 in the morning because it opens at 11 so we can try again it because I want to see. I just want to compare the taste. They're doing a BOGO where it's buy one get one free right now. I, I really don't care about the promo. I just want to try it but I'm I'm like craving it so much I'm like willing to wake up early to do it and I wake up early anyways. So that's what I'm doing now to get hay tea. And yesterday I did a whole bunch of shopping which I have like a lot of clips on but I didn't do an intro so I guess this would be an intro and then now you can cue some of my shopping videos. I did like a whole day of me just shopping to find out what I want for Christmas and there we go. Okay so one of the top things I wanted for this Christmas was a white or cream coat and this one from Cost was really nice and it's so cute and here's a little close-up of how it looks up front. I love the collar detail on the top. You don't really see much coats like this. But I can say it was a very thin coat so it was a no for me. It was my first time at Anina Bink because I've been seeing it all over Instagram so I wanted to check out their coats too. So these were their coats that they had and unfortunately they didn't really have much and then I also wanted to see the iconic Paris sweatshirts. Unfortunately, they didn't have the coat that I was looking for, but I decided to look at the ones from the black one. And although it's really nice, it was also a really thin one too. So definitely was not something that I wanted. And for the white one, this was the only one that they had in stores, but this was like a blazer. As you can see, I did not like it. The fit, the color was just not it. And this Paris sweatshirt was just for fun to try on. They didn't have my size, so I just wanted to see what the hype was about. The next was Longchamp. I love these bags. They are forever. They just hold so much. And I wanted a new one because my black one was breaking. And they had this new color. It's kind of like a brown neutral color. So, and it looked really nice. So I just ended up getting this one. When I passed by Chanel, there were no lines. And if there's no lines, you just have to go in. So I just checked out some of the new denim collection while I was waiting for my SA. Nothing special that I would want here, but I did want to try on the Chanel 22 because I've never tried it on and I'm not really liking it. This is my first time at a Max Mara store and I fell in love with all these coats. They're such high quality because they are cashmere and wool blended. However, the pricing does match the quality. So I was able to try on some of the white ones that they had in stock, but they didn't have that much. But I can say that this one is is very thick and it's perfect for a New York City winter because it will keep you warm but I was also looking for more of like a short coat too so they had this one but I'm not a big fan of it however the pricing is like a couple grand and then this one was perfect but they didn't have white so for at me I want their sunglasses because their local sunglasses are just really drawn to me but they didn't have it um, out on the floor so the sales associate actually went to the back and got it for me and these are these are the ones I want and they look so nice and I ended up getting it for Christmas I haven't been to a LV store in a very long time, but I needed to get something from someone. And this is the men's collection if anybody's interested in it. And the trunk collection is so nice. I mean, look at this one. It's, it's so beautiful. I was never a big fan of Loewe, but one of my favorite YouTubers, she loves this brand, so I wanted to check it out. And I've been looking for a bag too, but I don't think any of the bags that I tried on really like until I saw their new bucket bag. Like this one is so beautiful. It like fits a ton and the color is just so nice. The strap is a little bit thick in my opinion and then they have this like huge gold button right in the center of it and I think it's really the iconic piece for this whole bag. And unfortunately, I didn't get it because I thought the straps personally were just too thick for me, but it's such a beautiful piece. 
Okay. Wait a very long time. Let's do this. Ah! Great, bro. Oh. Okay, this is the moment of truth. If this tastes like it does in China. Is it? It's it? It's good. Let me get in there. Oh. It's mm, the grapefruit's not. I can say China is better. Oh my god, it's so good. China's better. Mm, right. This one is the mango grapefruit salad. Oh. Would I come again? I would. <laughs> 